Mr. Speaker, today is the final day of National Native American Heritage Month. I rise today to honor and celebrate the rich history and traditions of Native Americans and to note the work we are doing in Congress to invest in infrastructure, education, health care across the entire Indian country. It is an immense privilege to work with tribal communities across Arizona's first congressional district. With 12 tribes and nations in my district, I see the impact of Native American heritage in every town I visit, especially their strong commitment to family, community, and traditions. Traditions, by the way, that people from all around the world come to see every year. It has been inspiring to see the many tributes my colleagues have shared here with this body throughout the month. It underscores the immense, immeasurable contributions of Native Americans to this country. Yesterday I spoke about the code, Navajo Code Talkers and all the Code Talkers and the veterans um, that have uh, come from Native American lands. As a member of the Congressional Native American Caucus, I am proud to work with tribal leaders to strengthen the relationship between our country and their sovereign nations. There's a great deal to do to ensure rural tribal communities have access to 21st century infrastructure, education, and health care. But I am confident that the work we'll, we are doing will make these critical investments. Mr. Speaker, one of the founding principles of this great country is the celebration of diversity of its people. When we recognize that as a strength, we, are, we truly are a more perfect union, and I yield.